What's going on everybody? I definitely tried to record this outside, but my hands kept freezing up. It's like a solid like 13 degrees outside right now. So, you know, I can't really operate the phone with the big puffy gloves on. So I just said, screw it. I'm gonna come inside and record. Um, but it snowed last night and um, it kind of like brought up, you know, some old feelings, I guess some unresolved feelings that I still need to work on, you know. One of the biggest things I want people to understand is like, I'm, I don't have all the answers or like, I just, I want people to remember I'm human too and I'm young. <laughs> so it's like, I'm trying to like figure these things out. Um, but my biggest strength and my biggest, biggest strength and weakness is my loneliness or my solitude. You know, it's loneliness when it's the bad side of it. It's solitude when it's the good side. You know what I mean? But I have one of my lonely phases. I've been in a state of solitude for the past few months. Like, I've been good. You know what I'm saying? But it's usually around holiday times and, and that type of stuff that usually makes me feel some type of way. But it seems to be like one of my triggers is um, like snowy nights. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just puts me in my feelings. I'm just like, man, I wish I could just be cuddled up with someone. It's all cold and quiet outside. Like, I just want to cuddle up and just either sit here in silence or just, like, have someone to cuddle up with and talk to. You know what I'm saying? And it gets to this part where I've learned to catch myself. And this is the part that I wanted to be a teachable moment. You know, I catch myself when I'm in this feeling. You know, a lot of people, they'll just dwell in it for a while. Like, and I did, I dwelt in it for a little bit, longer than I typically do. But, you know, it's, it just reared its head out of nowhere for, after months of me not having to worry about it. And, you know, I was just sitting there. I was like, yo, why am I always alone? Like, I'm so tired of being by myself all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's cool, you know, it's cool, like, all throughout the year, but I don't know, when it snows at night, it can snow in the middle of the day, but when it snows at night, it's just a whole nother feeling for me. And I know why that is, but I'll keep that, I'll keep that inside for now, for now, and I'll talk about it later. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's one of those things, though, that what everyone needs to do when you're starting to feel that emotion, when you are angry, when you're sad, when you're depressed, worried, whatever the word is, you know, you have to ask yourself, why? Why am I letting this situation, why am I letting this thing or this trigger have this much power over me? The snow wasn't falling out of the sky. I said, ha ha, we about to make that dude lonely. Ha ha. No, like that's, the snow is just the snow. That's my feeling. That's the feeling that came out of me. You see what I'm saying? And what people need to do is they need to become more responsible for their emotions. Sure, sometimes you can't control them necessarily. They do just happen. But you need to also, like, be able to say, I can control them and not let them, like, take over. You know what I'm saying? You know, the other way of saying it is, like, to not suppress them. Don't suppress your feelings. I'm feeling lonely. No, no, I gotta go do something. I gotta busy myself. I gotta, no, that, that wouldn't be the move. You know, you're just, you're just pushing it down for it to, like, pop back up. You know, like, put, like, a, um, like, hold, like, a plastic cup and put it, like, in a sink, like, in a full sink of water or a tub of water and put it, the air is just going to, make it shoot back up that's pretty much what happens with your emotions you know and i want people to understand that there's ways around this you know the best way i could say is to let it happen but just sit there and ask yourself why do i feel like this right now you know why and at the end of the day you're good like you know some people that still like to blame others for their reason oh because he left me because she did this to me, because my job doesn't treat me with respect, because blah, 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 blah. You know, if you're, if you're still in that phase, you got a ways to go. You need to stop blaming others, because if they put you in the box right now, those people probably aren't here. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, I was all by myself. Nothing was here to make me lonely. That emotion came out of me, so I had to ask myself, why do I feel lonely right now? You see what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, doesn't matter, like, when, once you get really honest with yourself, you are the cause of your emotions. It's only you. No one can feel for you. No one can make you feel a certain type of way. You know, no one can. You might not believe me on that, but no one can make you feel anyway. It's all about what you allow to happen, you know? So, you know, it's kind of like that, that spectrum I always talk about, the degree of expression. You know, my loneliness, if I take it back to the positive side, it becomes solitude again. You know, I was like, you know what, we got, we got, we got, we got to shift the scales, you know? So like, I just like, I have like a little journal that I write in when I just have like a crazy moment or a sad moment and stuff like that, I just write it because it just gets it out of me somehow. And once again, your method will be different. 
you know, but then like I got into my meditation and then I just started feeling good again. I was like, you know what? I'm good. And I can calm down, you know, but people have different methods and some people run to something outside of them to fix what happened inside. Why don't you just fix what's inside? You know, I'm feeling sad and lonely. I'm going to go drink. It's like, that's not going to help your situation. You know, people need to remember the old phrase that I heard or read at some point. It was along the lines of, I might be butchering it, but it's like for those of people that think they can drown their sorrows, they need to remember that their sorrows can swim. You know what I'm saying? So the people that want to drink their problems away, you ain't doing nothing but making it worse. And you're just bringing, you're bringing up the sorrows, whatever that was bugging you, plus all that other stuff you didn't want to deal with. It all comes up at the same time. So you're only making it worse for yourself. You know? So... I just wanted to use my example, you know, I do battle with loneliness, but when I'd sat back and I like broke it down, once again, I knew it's all me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I've pushed people away in my life. Okay, cool. But why? You know what I'm saying? Like I've had friends that I've just cut off because they no longer serve a purpose in my life. They don't benefit other people. They're not really doing nothing for themselves. So you don't need to be my friend. I consider myself special to myself. So I want to surround myself with people that find themselves to be se uh, special to themselves. You know what I mean? If you're not doing big things, if you don't even have big dreams and big goals, I don't want to be around you. If you are a negative Nancy 24-7, I don't want to be around you. I don't care how attractive you are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, get away from me. You know what I mean? Like, I love myself enough that I want to be surrounded by beautiful people. You know? And that's one of those things that when I'm in that solitude mode, it sounds like a great idea. Man, yo, you ain't even worth it. I'm up here with it. I'm up here with it. But then, like, you know, I get in solitude mode. I'm like, friends. <laughs> but, like, I have to remember, though. Like, I got to remember that it's like I'd rather be by myself than be surrounded by 50 people that I don't really care about and don't care about themselves. You know what I'm saying? I want meaningful, real relationships. It's that simple. You know, you got to hype yourself up in that way. You know, whatever it is that's your problem, you have to talk to yourself and figure it out. I'm just telling you what was mine. My, my issue is loneliness, but when I drag it back to solitude, I'm good. You know, so just find what the other side of that spectrum is for whatever feeling you're having. And psych yourself up. All of that comes from inside, within. You know, don't stop running outside. Stop running to that guy to make you feel good for 15 minutes. Stop running to your favorite girl for... You know, that, that little time. Stop running to the bottle. Stop running to the weed, the cigarettes. All that's doing is just sidestepping it. And it's still there. It's still following you. So why don't you just turn to it and address it? You see what I'm saying? And the way you address it is by going within. Simple. So that was just my story. I hope somebody learned something from it. You know, once again, I love being open and honest about the stuff I'm going through too. You know, nothing crazy, but you know, I, I still feel that with me being open, it's relatable. You know, I'm not just making this stuff up. You know, it's just stuff I go through. I'm young. We're all growing together. I'm just putting out my two cents out there for everyone to benefit from. That's about it. <laughs> Till next time.